Hello, my name is Brian Dick. I'm a software engineer, and this is my YouTube tutorial series on the HackerRank Interview Preparation Kit. Currently, we are going over greedy algorithms, and this problem is the greedy florist. A group of friends wants to buy a bouquet of flowers. The florist wants to maximize his number of new customers and the money he makes. To do this, he decides he'll multiply the price of the flowers by the number of that customer's previously purchased flowers plus one. The first flower will be the original price, 0 plus 1 times the original price. The next will be 1 plus 1 times the original price, and so on. Given the size of the group of friends, the number of flowers they want to purchase, and the original prices of the fl flowers determine the minimum cost to purchase all of the flowers. The number of flowers they want equals the length of the array C. Um, so basically, we have a group of friends here, and they are going to go buy out every single flower in this flower shop. The catch is for the multiples that each friend purchases increases the multiple of the original price that they have to pay. And we have to figure out what the minimum price they have to pay that they can get away from this flower shop with all of the flowers. So what we need to do first is we have to think this through. Um, the since this is a greedy algorithm, we should know we're, we're hinted off that this is going to be a fairly straightforward algorithm because a greedy algorithm always goes for the best option at that time. Well, if we were to think about this, the first thing that should be clear is that we're going to want to rotate. So friend one would buy a flower, then friend two, then friend three, then friend four, all the way to the kth friend, right? The other thing is since for each multiple of flowers that the friends buy, the multiplier gets larger, a multiply, multiplication of a bigger integer will result in a bigger change than a multiplication of a smaller number uh, of the flowers. So we're going to want to purchase the flowers in order of most expensive to least expensive, rotating through all of our friends. All we have to do now is describe that programmically. Okay, what we're wanting to do is we're wanting to iterate through all of our friends as we're going through the flowers in order of most expensive to least expensive and keeping track of what our cost is at that point. So first we're going to want an int min cost. Uh, we're going to set that equal to zero because we haven't purchased any flowers yet. We're then going to want to know, well, how many flowers are there total that we're going to be purchasing? So num flowers is equal to c dot size. Then we want to know uh, how many has each person purchased? So num each is equal to zero because when we first arrive to the shop, none of us have any flowers. So there's no multiplier on the cost. I'm going to go just a little bit bigger, I think. Yeah, I think that looks better. Um, then we're going to want to know, well, what is the current flower index that we're on? And since we're going to go from the most valuable to the least valuable, we're going to say int cur flower is equal to the number of flowers uh, minus one. And then we're going to want to see uh, what friend number we're on, because we have to iterate through all of the friends. So int cur friend is equal to zero. And we'll just describe the friends as zero through k. Okay, so now uh, at the end, we'll return the minimum cost, min cost. And now we just need to figure out the logic in between here. So again, what we're trying to do is we're going to be iterating through the flowers in order from most expensive to least expensive. So in order to do that, we're going to need to sort this, right? So we're going to say sort um, C dot begin, C dot end, and that will give us a sorted array from lowest to largest. And then we're going to want to do for int i is equal to zero. Uh, we're going to, want to iterate through all of them, so less than num flowers, increment i. So that's going to be going through the array a single time. Uh, within here, we're going to first grab the current flower, 
and add that to our minimum cost with our multiplier. So we're going to say min cost plus equals the uh, C sub per flower times, and then in parentheses here, because uh, this needs to be done first, we're going to take the num each plus one. So that starts at zero, then it's going to be one, and then two, and then three, and four, all the way to however number of num each gets to. Um, okay, so now that we have done that, we need to iterate through the friends. So we're going to increment the number of friends that friend that we're on. Uh, and then after updating our friend, if, oops, hit caps lock on accident, if cur friend is equal to k, then we've already gone through all the friends a single rotation. Oops. Uh, we've already gone through all of our friends a single rotation. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to say cur friend is back to zero. We've looped around back to our first friend. And then we're going to want to say the num each has gone up by one. Because uh, now they each have, they made it through one whole round. So now everybody has the same number of flowers, which is num each flowers. And then we go through the next round. And then this round, everybody is going to be at a multiplier now. That's one larger. On the outside of that if statement, we are going to decrement by cur flower. And uh, that updates our index. So that should be good. We already have our min cost here. So yeah, I think that's good enough to run. So let's go ahead and hit run. See how we do. Looks like we passed all of these sample test cases. And now we're going to go ahead and push that. Submit. And congratulations. That is how you solve the greedy florist problem. Uh, if you have any questions, any doubts, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions that you want to have answered about uh, hacker rank problems, coding in general, software engineering, anything, uh, leave those in the comments below. I'll try to get to everybody I can. Uh, thanks for watching. Comment, like, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.